Coach Donnie from Elevate Yourself. This weekend, I'll be competing in the New York Mini, which is a Chinese nine-man volleyball tournament in New York, and this will be my first one ever. There's gonna be over 40 men's teams competing and 35 women's teams competing. And this is considered the second biggest nine-man tournament of the year outside of the Labor Day National Tournament. Usually, I play with my team, Sha Long Pao, but this year, Brant and I wanted to form a fun team together. So I'm looking forward to playing with some new players this year. Got everything packed here. Got my shorts, ball bag, foam roller, tripod. I've been loving this thing. This is like the airplane neck pillow where you can actually sleep upright. I'll show you guys when I get on the plane. Of course, my shoes, laptop, all that good stuff. There can never be a tournament without any backstory drama. So we're playing tomorrow in New York at 8.30 a.m. Unfortunately, this week I'm coaching my girls volleyball camps, which means we don't finish until two o'clock, and the earliest flight I can get after that is 4.30 p.m., which means I don't land until 1.30 a.m., and our first serve is at 8.30. And I won't even get to the hotel until around 2 or 2.30, so I'm gonna be playing on around four hours of sleep, which I don't recommend, but this is the only way I was able to make it and still work my volleyball camps. Now I gotta get it ready to actually go to the camps. One thing I will do is bring the upper echelon pre-workout, which is how I'm gonna try to deal with playing on four hours of sleep. It'll give me a lot of energy, focus, and everything I need to play early in the morning on four hours of sleep. Just got to Moreau Catholic where I'll be coaching the girls volleyball camps. Welcome to Moreau. camps and it was so great to see how much all the girls improved in just one week and that's the power of focus when you try to implement the right things you get better a lot faster you don't get better just by playing now I got to pack some final things I like to lay out my outfits before I go I'm gonna rep of course my man Bruce Lee here at the airport in New York and then the elevate joggers now it's time to talk shoes originally I was going to pack the KDs and it actually felt really comfortable uh, when I played at the last nine-man tournament that was outdoors. These are really great for wide feet and incredible shock absorption. The only downside about the shoe, it doesn't have, even though it says it has zoom, it just didn't feel the same springiness as some of the other shoes. So I'm actually considering bringing my old Nike HyperTex. The shock absorption is not as good as the KDs, but you do get a little more bounce and the shoe is lighter. And these are old so I can mess these up and not worry about them. TSA pre-check was one of the best things I spent money on. The line was super long for the regular security check. After TSA pre-check, only took me about five minutes just to get through. Now for the fun part, try to find something to eat. I think I'm feeling this tuna sandwich here. I'm probably gonna get some chips. So I end up getting this little salami pack, which is gonna be my snack on flight. And I usually get Diet Coke for my drink, one of my favorite drinks because it's zero calorie and you get the fizz and you get a little caffeine, but I'm gonna to try to sleep on the plane since I'm gonna be landing at 1.30 and I gotta wake up early. So I got one of my other favorite drinks, this lemon Pellegrino. landed and I actually was able to get a good amount of sleep kind of broken sleep you know just trying to sleep on the plane is not the most comfortable but it's pretty to sleep almost the entire time which I'm really grateful for because I didn't sleep very well last night and I'm not gonna get a lot of sleep tonight walking over to baggage claim right now to get my suitcase and I'm pretty annoyed because I never check in luggage because there's always a chance airlines can lose it and plus once you get off the plane, I don't like to have to go to baggage claim and then go to the hotel. But unfortunately, the overhead bin space was all full, so I was forced to check in my luggage at no cost. But now, instead of going straight to the hotel, I have to go get my luggage. This is my first time flying into Newark Airport. It's pretty nice.
is a pretty cool picture for the room key. Usually I like to do a hotel room tour, but it's 2.45 a.m. right now, and I don't want to wake up my housemate, so we'll probably have to do it tomorrow. Plus, he might be naked. <laughs> but here's our room, finally made it. Usually I like to take a shower after I get off a plane because I just feel kind of dirty, but I'm so tired. So I'm just gonna wash my face and go to bed because it's already 3 a.m. right now. And we'll give you guys a tour of this place because it's pretty nice. We'll see you guys in the morning. It's our first meal of the day. First drink of the day, Vietnamese iced coffee. Walking to our second destination through Chinatown to get the actual food. First official meal in New York, we got La Chung Bao, which is like a Chinese sausage sweet bun. It's okay. The bread to <laughs> sausage ratio is really too big. Usually you want a little more meat or a little less bread. Flavor's good though. Meal number two, breakfast burrito to go. All right, first bite. Mm. Pretty good. Crispy potato inside. It's our first time in the New York Mini. This atmosphere is so sick. Warm up has officially started. I'll be honest, this is like the most disorganized I've been for a tournament. We only got four guys here. We got a ref first. Luckily, we got super lucky with that. I haven't even put on my sunscreen or done my formal yet, and we got to get ref soon. But that's the nice thing about having these ghost sleeves here is they actually help you get warm as you're wearing them. So I really love these products. Use my discount code in the link to get 15% off your own sleeves. These are the new jerseys. Brand, can I see the front? How the jerseys look? Oh, nice. That's good. It's a executive decision. We went with green. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we had to go with green. Finally, successfully finished repping our first one. I don't rep 99 very much. Uh, luckily, people here are really nice, so they're pretty uh, patient with my calls. Gotta get warmed up, and it's our first official 9-man mini game. Super excited. <laughs> 